Hoi hoi, it's the lovely Mary here and today I'm going to go over my swag and things I bought at Anime Expo. It was fun, um, so I'm going to kind of go over um, free stuff and then stuff we bought and then some mystery items that I have yet to open because I wanted to open on camera. Four day badge that I had purchased and what was nice is they mailed it to you this year so getting in and out was actually pretty, pretty easy if you know which way to go in and go out. This is the booklet that has the schedule and the program and all the special guests and all that. And um, I mean, maybe I'll make another video later. Let me know down below if you're interested to like hear about the panels and things I went to. Here is like official AX stuff I got. So I got this cute little chibi plush set that I had been eyeing, so I had to get that. So here is this year's official 2018 shirt. So that's uh, what I got from the official merchandise, so now let's move on to the free stuff I got. These free stickers that were being passed out, My Hero One's Justice, so we got stickers from that booth. Um, we also got... Um, so right when you walk in, you get like, well not right when you walk in, you have to go to a different area, but you get swag bags. So of course we got this, which came with, you know, the program and just a bunch of ads and stuff like that. So that came with it. We got the little Crunchyroll pin with it. Um, we got these from the Funimation booth. Um, they were handing them out, so... We got two, of course. You got Crunchyroll um, lanyards in your Crunchyroll bag as well. We went to Crunchyroll headquarters. They took over like a restaurant area. And so they were giving out pins and posters, but I've gotten to a point now where things just turn into clutter. So I don't take things now unless I, I really like it. So of course, when they had Banyanya car air fresheners, I had to get some, meet some of those. And then also when we were at Crunchyroll headquarters, they were we just happened to go and they were having trivia type contest. My husband actually got a question right, and so we were able to go downstairs and pick a prize. So of course he had to pick this. We went to Little Tokyo and we discovered this little like indoor like three story mall area that we had never been to. And then there's like a Korean slash Japanese grocery store there and. They saw we had badges and they're like, oh, you have badges? Well, here you go. And they gave us this. So we got this for free. Crunchyroll also had like a booth. They had a headquarters, which was in a completely different location. They had that you got when you like, that was like the swag bag. But then they also had an exhibit hall um, booth. But then they also had another booth um, where the Arby's booth was. And if you actually were a Crunchyroll uh, premium or whatever member, you got a uh, you got to choose. So of course we chose My Hero Academia. You got like a special line bag pin set. Um, so you could have gotten one of four options, and we got this mummy one, which we have not watched the series, but I have heard it's good. So I maybe I'll get more excited once I actually watch it. Um, let's see, Kodansha was handing out this. So I thought that's kind of neat. Um, I haven't read manga in a long time. That, I was all about manga in high school, middle school, but it was kind of hard to keep up when you're in college because it's a very expensive habit. If you have not checked out Watakoi, it's on Amazon Prime. That is an excellent series. We just watched the first episode of this. Pretty funny. I have not gotten into any of these yet, so we'll see how that goes. And hello, my little baby. You've come to step on everything. Urban Crunchyroll like headquarters were together in that same area, and they handed out these slap bracelets, but they like immediately ripped apart. So, I mean, good thought, but I mean, if you're only paying probably like less than a cent for something, it's probably not good quality. I'm assuming that's how much it costs. I hope it wasn't more than a cent, because they just ripped right off. Because um, we got two in both of them. The other one just completely came right off. Also, we got some stickers, and then if you purchase something at e, um, the Kodansha, that booth, then you got one of these free little thingies. We got this Pop Team Epic, little kind of like you can almost like dice, you could just, my husband's going to put in his car. I got my sister this, um, which is a rascal, if you've never heard of him, when we were, when she went to Japan with us, 
we started seeing this little guy everywhere and my sister really liked it so I saw some rascal stuff so I was like yeah I'll get a rascal thing and then <laughs> the crown jewel is this giant chicken I don't know what was up with these chickens I saw them at two different booths from the moment I saw it I said if that is still there on Sunday I am getting a chicken So there are my plushes, and so let's move on to apparel next. So this is probably one of my favorite things I got. It's a tank top, and it's just amazing. It's just cats. It's, it's just great. <laughs> so um, I was really happy with that one. All right, so this is a black shirt. It's kind of hard to tell in the lighting, um, but if you've watched... Uh, or seen those types of shirts that have become popular with like the cats popping out. Well this time it's a shirt with um, Pop Team Epic. <laughs> so I had to get that. That was from Mint and Apple. This is a shirt by Mamobot that my husband picked out and as you can see a cat somehow already got to this. I don't know when that happened. Uh, but yeah, here's one thing my husband picked out. So my husband has become obsessed um, since last year when we bought some Kinfold, um, this wonderful cat hat. And so this was actually a friend requested this, but I wanted to show you the hat. He got this. Um, I don't want to open it because it's his and it's in the package. He got this and he got another shirt that had a like a beetle on it. Um, but I just realized now he wore it already, so it's somewhere else. Okay, so this is another shirt my husband got. I guess he was saying something like it's supposed to be like anime Seinfeld. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Something Seinfeld. Um, I think it's like an artist he's been following um, on Twitter. And then <clears throat> he also got this. It's a crew neck, I want to say, probably. I don't. Again, I don't want to open it because it's his. Um, but yeah. So, and then we got these hilarious socks we're going to surprise his sister with. And I don't want to open this either because, again, it's his um, anime crimes division, Neo Otaku City. Um, if you have not checked out this series, I'll also put a link down below. Um, it's made by Freddie Wong and through Crunchyroll and it's a three episode series and right now they are filming season two so if you haven't seen season one it's um worth checking out so there's all the apparel so here's some figures tiger and bunny figures that my husband found for pretty cheap um as well as he got a common writer and he bought um my hero academia vigilantes manga so that was some of the stuff he got. So I got this at the Karancha booth. Usually when you find the Sailor Moon stuff in Americanized stores, it's just like the main um, scouts that you see, like the original scouts. You don't really see the other scouts that come along later in the series. Um, so I was really happy to find the Sailor Pluto charm there because I've always liked Sailor Pluto. So I was excited for that. So first off, we got this at the Crunchyroll booth. It was four pins. Um, it's from My Hero Academia. You can, they're kind of all falling around. At the Crunchyroll booth, there was gotchas for different things. And I believe this one he picked was Goku, but I'm not going to open it up and assemble it unless you guys down below really want to see an update or I'll just put it on my Instagram or Twitter. <laughs> Um, but I don't want to deal with all that right now. That'll take me forever and a day. Um, Kinfold, the one I was telling you earlier with all the apparel. So that's their information right there. So this says roll around. Um, somebody asked specifically for these. So that's um, from Devilman Crybaby. A particular artist had, we got these two pins at their booth. So we got a Suyu, super cute, and um, they also had a bunch of Pokemon, so we got a Vulpix. When I was in like the entertainment hall area, I got this Mimikyu. Um, somebody handed this sticker out for free. I got these at Mint and Apple, the one that did that black shirt I showed you earlier. So Kiki's Delivery Service, and she has a lot of like boba themed, bunny boba, poke boba themed stuff. So um, if you're into that, you will definitely like her stuff. Um, I got this cute little pen. 
um, while I was in the exhibit hall. This person made like a series of their, I, I believe it's their personal cats. So there was like three or four different ones you could get. So of course we had to get the like such handsome cat. Um, I got this for my sister. It's just super cute, nine to five cute. So rerimon.com and it's the bellhop. So I thought that was super cute. Uh, my husband got these stickers. I don't know if, no, there's no information. So I'll have to flash that because I know he knows who this is for sure. Um, so he got those stickers. Um, I got this adorable card captors set. Oh, let's see. What did they write? I guess it's just the cute little face. We got this stickers and luckily, you know, they have their name um, on here. So uh, my husband picked out those. I got this adorable dog and cat set. I will flash the name of this one because I know because I follow them on Twitter. So I made sure to find them because of Twitter. So I'll flash that up. Um, but you got this set together, a dog and cat set, if you so chose. I got three, well, one mystery bag, one lucky pack, and then um, like uh, one of these where you don't know what's inside. But they all look super cute because it's cats with the My Hero team. I got this mystery bag that I will also open. And then I have my lucky pack, which I'll show you what's in it. I did have to open it there, and you can see how terribly I opened it. But basically, if you had to open it because there was supposedly you could get a special thing inside, and if you got the special thing inside, then you could get like a stuffed animal. So I had to tear it open just to make sure. But I haven't gone through, gone through the items yet, like one by one. I just kind of like glazed through it just to see if I got the item, which I did not. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, so let me go over the items. So it's from Tasty Peach Studios. I've bought several like things from them in the past. So that was one of the reasons why I ended up doing a Lucky Pack. Because there's Lucky Packs everywhere. Um, but I get kind of weary because I'm not aware of their brand. It looks like we got like some sort of hair band. And then we got some stickers. Right here. And then we got a keychain. And we got a cute like little necklace that's so adorable. I really like this one because I don't actually own this one. I don't own any of these actually. Um, but I'm saying that's something I would have pro possibly bought on my own. So, um, and then this one's hilarious because my husband was like, why do you have a cracker in your console? Because I, I wore this after I got it. I just pulled it out and put it in my hair. And then I put it in the center console while we were, um, dry or cup holder while we were driving home. He's like, why is there a cracker in there? Because <laughs> it just looks so realistic. And then it comes with the lanyard that you can see right there. Cute little thingy, a strawberry, and then a cute little red hair bow. So um, I would say for what they normally sell these things for, that it definitely is worth more than $20 because I wanna say keychains are at least six or $8. And then these I wanna say are close to 10 or maybe a little bit more than 10. And then, so I'm already just between just three of these items, let's say. It's already at least $20 if you were to buy them separately. So I'm happy with these items. I think they're all cute. So not sure how I feel about this, but I don't know. Maybe I'll find something it'll work with. So I have to show you real quick when I like pulled off the thing because it was very hard to do. Um, you can see little cats. Super cute, especially this like folded over cat ear one. All right, and I got uh, Nidoria, so that's cute. I'm happy with that. And it's got American short hair, super cute. And what's interesting, I wasn't quite sure, like, I wasn't quite sure what this was gonna look like, but it's actually just like this that they were giving away at the Kodansha. So I'm wondering if this is like a new trend where it's kind of like, a frame picture that you don't have to actually frame because it's like already like thick and sturdy so I'm pretty happy with that I would I actually would have been happy really with any of them 
So let me rip up these staples. You're supposed to get a plush and possibly some other stuff. So let's see what we got here. Okay, let's pick up something small first. So there's a little chickadee. I think they did tell you you were going to get a chickadee. Um, let's see, chicky. And, oh, there's the company name. Hold on one second. So there it is. I think it's pronounced Belzi, B-E-L-L-Z-I, Belzi. And then that's their little logo. So let's take out the next thing. So I want to say they did for sure say you were going to get a little chickadee in there. Okay, we got... We got a little, like, fox eating a donut. Super cute little keychain. And let's see what the big plush we got. <gasps> we got a killer whale. Not my first choice, but let's see if it's at least soft. Here it is. Their name is Orky. So then they tell you, like, a little bit about each creature you purchase. They had some really, really cute dinosaurs, so if you're into dinosaurs, I would recommend checking them out. It is very, very stiff, very plump. Kind of like the cinnamon roll we got um, this past month. Um, just very, very thick. But it's at least soft, and it's firm, so it'll hold its shape. Can't say I'm a big, big fan of orcas, killer whales, whatever we're supposed to be calling them. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll grow to love them. Oh, and then there was also this, um, I for totally forgot about that. I put this off to the side earlier and I forgot to take it back out, but, um, this is something my husband got. So yeah, lots of spoils of my, uh, weekend here. I was going to do posters, but that's going to make this video a lot longer. So, um, and I don't, I want it to be more palatable in small chunks, so I'm going to end this video like this. I'm going to do a couple of videos, um, so maybe I'll do the poster one when I do the actual, like, picture pictures of, like, cosplayers and, like, just video footage and stuff I took. So, so uh, for my 300 sub giveaway winner, I did purchase stuff that I have chosen not to show because I'm going to make that into its own little video. If you have any other questions or want some sort of like review day analysis of my time there, um, also let me know down below. Um, I did kind of do one like that last year, so you can check that out from last year. I guess I'll put that at the end of this video too if you want to check out from last year. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure how many parts I'm going to do to this, but for now I guess that's it. So I hope you have a good rest of your weekend weekend, and I will see you in the next AX video. Bye!